Hi, I'm Callum Delieto. And I'm Jake Nelson. And today we are commentating on the final, Harefield United versus LNER. Yep, that's correct. Obviously, LNER had to work hard to get here, beating Parkfield Sunday 4-2 to reach this position. And Harefield beat Abbey United. It was a 2-2 draw that they won away on penalties. Yes, and we know going into this that LNER are very, very good on the counter-attack. They have a lot of pace and they have the ability to hold it up front. Whereas Harefield, they've got the strength and the speed, but they're lacking in defence, so hopefully they'll be able to make up for that uh, today's final. Yep, we'll see going into this one. So we're here today to Harrow Sunday Challenge League Kane Cup Final, Harefield United versus LNER Sports FC. I'm Callum Delieto. And I'm Jake Nelson. It's going to be a good game. The weather has held up. No rain. See how it goes. Yeah, it's not too bad. We've got LNER kicking from left to right and uh, Harefield kicking from right to left. Obviously, LNER in the red and Harefield in the blue. And we're off. Pretty fast start from LNER. Good inception. Throw on by Martin Whitworth. And it's gone out for a goal kick. Game started off pretty slow. Hopefully it'll pick up a bit of a pace. Obviously it's the finals. Hoping to see a lot of goals in this game actually. It's goalkeeper David Malham for LNER. Oldest member of the team. Oh, nice through ball. And it's out for a corner, but uh, both teams seem pretty panicky, would you say so? Yeah, their nerves just seem to calm down, hopefully. I think they're, uh, the pressure of the final is getting to them both. Yeah, I'd definitely say so. Hopefully a corner will come in, be a decent corner. We'll see if they can finish this off. Great corner in. Oh, back post, nearly a goal, unlucky. Jamie Barry is the keeper for Harefield. About to take the goal kick. He's a great sh shot stopper and has made some great saves this season. So let's see if he's on form today. Oh, brilliant touch by number 12 there. Throw on for Harefield. Taken by Joe Sadler. Oliver Hatcher there with the cross in. Brilliant foot. Oh, unlucky. Brilliant footwork there to get the cross in. And an unlucky volley there. It's a nice bit of play there by Harefield. Uh, I need to be aware of the number two, Joe Sadler, with the long throw, especially from uh, attacks. Could be pretty dangerous.
two balls off of the field already. I think they've only got a couple more left. Hopefully we can keep it down for the rest of the game. Hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise someone's climbing a tree. Interesting fact about David Malham. He's the only goalie to ever get booked for diving. Pretty late decision there by the ref, if I must say so. Harefield on the attack. <laughs> Safe hands. Very safe hands, made that look easy. Played it way too close to the keeper. Elinear <laughs> ball. Complaints there? Asking for the ref? What do you think? Uh, pretty poor complaints to be fair. Nothing there in it. Nothing at all. A bit early on for those desperation calls. Very, very early. Oh, nice little turn there. Oh, a bit too casual maybe. Oh, nice football. Brilliant ball in. Hit fielder in. Brilliant cross, can he finish it? Oh, great interception. Oh, great shot, great, brilliant save there by David again. LNER under a lot of pressure at the moment. Uh, it feels like Harefield, uh, especially on the attack at the moment, are putting in a lot of work. It seems like uh, the LNER defence is a bit, mm, maybe, Unprepared, not sure what's going on, maybe nerves kicking in. Maybe they just need to get a feel for the other team, work out what they're doing. Another brilliant, oh, another brilliant ball. I said it was dangerous on the attack. It looks like Harefield are putting a lot of work on the attack at the moment, a lot of work. Second assist there from Sadler, and uh, it was Mills, Kevin Mills there, number 14, that uh, took the shot again. That's two attacks. This one was a lot closer to the uh, goal there, though. Yeah, it looks like a goal may be coming sooner rather than later, the way uh, Harefield are working at the ball at the moment. It's uh, pretty impressive, actually. LNER definitely need to wake up. Tom Norton with the throw. And again. Oh, brilliant touch. And then the Orion again. Nice cross. Can Joe oh. it? Unlucky, great attack there by Eleni, great attack. 
poor attempt there by Dowdy though. Yeah, it was a it was a pretty poor attempt. Could have been better. Had a bit of time on the ball there as well. But both teams on the attack at the moment looking pretty dangerous. I think it, it, it pretty much seems like both defences are a bit shaky at the moment. It seemed like Harefield's defence was just missing then. They didn't even come back. Yeah, that's very true. Very slow to get back. Maybe that's uh, where LNER need to work. Could be the counter that gets them the goal. Another cross again by Harefield. Poor clearance there by LNER. Harefield are really working the ball on the right hand side at the moment. Stuart Taylor there putting a lot of effort. David Mallon, goalkeeper. He's known to take his role very seriously and gets a bit moany. I wonder if he'll start to moan now. Uh, may have, well, the amount of chances keep coming his way sooner or later. It's going to happen. Great challenge in the air. Again, straight to the right-hand side. And Harefield are on the attack again. Early cross. Oh, brilliant save again by David. He's put in a lot of work in this game. Oliver Hatcher there for ha Harefield on the wing. He's been doing a lot of crucial crosses that have been getting in their chances. Yeah, a lot of crucial crosses. Uh, it's, could, it could be the changing factor in this game, to be quite honest. Here we go, Harefield with another corner. Straight out. Wasted corner. Missed opportunity there. feel like we have to watch out for Kevin Mills. He's the number 14. Seems to always be in good op good spaces when it comes to uh, the attacking side of things. Yeah, he's uh, very good. It, well, considering it looks like he's playing behind the strikers, he plays the role very well. He's very, um, he plays like a ghost role. So you never really know where he is, but he's always seemed to be in the right position at the right time. It's good. It's good to see. Good defence there by Harefield. Straight out. They keep trying to work the right hand side though. I think the, they feel the weakness within LNR on the left hand with the left back maybe. Another long throw there by Joe Sadler. Offside. Kevin Sadler again there. Ghost roll, as I said earlier. Seemed to trap back, even make a tackle there. Was very good going forward. And obviously very good coming back. He's working pretty hard for Harefield here. Good header there. Nice bit of pressure. Nice line down the board. Ooh, corner. Telling the 
very good ball there, hit into space. That's Kieran O'Shea there, number two for LNER. Jeremy Salmon, number seven, taking the corner. Another lovely corner. It seems like both teams have got very good corner takers. Very good corner takers. Offside there for LNER. Yeah, Gary Swift just standing offside there. It looked like he was just waiting around. Probably didn't expect it to come back his way, to be quite honest with you. So it's a bit unlucky. It was a very quick counter. Yeah, very quick. He's unlucky. Again, you had Harefield there playing it up the right wing. Yeah, I think, I think they figured it out. That that's obviously the, the weakness at the moment. Uh, LNER still panicking in defence, though. It's very... There's not many call-outs. Not many people letting people know what's going on. Nice control there. Unlucky. Kevin Mills again in the middle. Nice tackle there. LNER on the attack. Number nine, George Hennessy, I believe. Nice play into the middle. Oh, unlucky there. Very quick counter-attack. Uh, I said that we said that L and ER were good in the counter-attack, and it seems that way. Free kick. Not too sure what that was for, to be quite honest. But free kick to Harefield. He says they uh, play up the right. Uh, yeah, chances are they will play it on the right. They've hit it straight down the middle instead, straight to the keeper. Wasted ball. Not really sure who that was going to, to be honest. Uh, well, it seemed like he didn't know where it was going to go, to be honest. Uh, oh, and in the on the attack again, George Hennessy on the ball. Still on the ball. Oh, you already beat him once, you need to get the cross in there. Kevin Mills, great ball wide there, advantage played. Dedicated keeper there, David. Yeah, he, he is putting, in, like we said, he's put, he had to put in a lot of work there. Ooh, free kick to LNER. Retaliating there with the kick as well, if you see when the uh, Harefield play got up. Yeah, it's pretty, um, to be fair, the tackle was pretty bad. I don't think it was uh, intentional. Seemed like he was cutting across, but. Hell in the R free kick. I wonder what they'll make from this. Tensions are high. It is a final after all. That is true. Hopefully, uh, Hell in the R makes something out of this. Uh, we know that obviously both teams in the air seem to be putting in a lot of balls. A lot of good balls at the moment. It's Kieran O'Shea here with the free kick. He seems to have quite a calm head when he has got the ball. Uh, yeah, he has, uh, considering his position. I'm surprised he's actually taken this free kick. Uh, we have an injury at the moment, by the look of it. Looks like it's Tommy Hennessy, number eight there for LNER. Yeah, not sure what's happened there. Well, they've got a full bench of players, so... Uh not short. Yeah, there'll be no problem replacing him. Uh, he seems okay. Maybe a slight knee injury. He is the team captain, in fact.
Both teams setting up for the free kick. O'Shea, he's been missing most of the season, so it'd be good to make an impact. Sloppy hands from the keeper. Yeah, very sloppy hands from the keeper. Keeper Jamie Barry got quite lucky then. Very lucky. Captain looks like he's struggling with the limp a little bit still. Yep, Kevin Kevin Mills putting a lot of work here for them. For here, for great oh. shot. Oh, that's O'Shea again. Brilliant shot there from O'Shea. What a save! Definitely making up for his little slip up earlier. He was not going to concede a goal. Yeah, definitely made up for it there. That was a brilliant save there. Corner to LNER. Oh, unlucky. LNER have been on a tap for probably the last 10, 10 minutes now, it seems. Harefield don't have an answer. The defence is uh, pretty shaky still, it seems. Harefield definitely seems stronger than the attack than they are on the defence. Yeah, most definitely. It seems like the, uh, the midfield at the moment are taking uh, a lot of time to get back. Only Kevin Mills is tracking back. It's great at the moment, but another 20 minutes in and they're going to be tired. Yeah, that's very true. Look at Kevin at the moment. He's uh, pretty tired at the moment, it looks like. Hands on his, uh, his wit waist. Gary Stanley taking the LNER throw. Guessing it's going to be a long throw. Don't really know much about Gary, but seeing as he's a centre back, I'm guessing it's going to be a long throw from him. And it is. Clearance by Harefield. Tom Norton taking the throw for LNER. Pretty uh, wasted chance there by Gary Smith. He probably should have held that up instead of flicking it on. Would have probably been a bit better for LNER, but they can go again. Yeah, you could see what he was trying there. Yeah, you could see what he was trying. Obviously, it didn't work out, but um, LNER got a throw in, so... Hopefully he can work something from here again. Looks like Stanley's taking it again, so probably another long throw. Yeah, I think um, Hairfield need to be aware of these uh, long throws and crosses. It seemed pretty dangerous and... Ooh. There he is again, Kevin Mills adding to this. The Lions has actually put the flag up for Kevin Mills there. Uh, play carried on, but it's a bit late. Did stray just offside. Calls do need to be made earlier, though. Yeah, definitely need to be made a lot sooner than that. That was a um, fairly long delay. Captain for Harefield there, shouting a few commands. Definitely getting to him.
brilliant tackle there by LNER. Jason Nash was not letting that cross into the box. Brilliant tracking back there by... Airfield's defenders are not happy with the positioning of their up front. Brilliant tackle there again by Alinear. And they're on the counter-attack again. This is a good opportunity. Could he do it? Oh, another wasted opportunity by Alinear. It doesn't seem like they're getting the right numbers up there on the counter-attack. Probably should have taken it himself. He had a good opportunity there and he just took it wide. Tackle there by Nash. And he's in. Ooh, unlucky there. Another ball in the trees. Captain for Harefield is looking very frustrated. Yeah, well, they've been under pressure for the last 15, 15 minutes or so. It's, um, it's quite hard for them. And a counter-attack for Harefield. Brilliant save. Number 12 looks injured there, and the ref has called a stop to it. Uh, again, another late call there by the ref. Probably would have said there was no advantage from the moment he went down. He's been a crucial player to the team, so if they have to take him off, I think Harefield might be in some trouble. Yeah, they could be. He's uh, been very effective up front, very effective. The captain's taking the free kick. Nice ball in, it's going in. Oh, beautiful kick there, straight for the top corner. Uh, didn't look like it was intentional, but great save by the keeper. You have a, another corner by Harefield now. Quite a few of their corners have been dangerous. Stuart Taylor, number eight, taking it. Can he make something from it? Oh, unlucky. There it is again, Sean Rand's number 12, playing another crucial role in that. Yeah, winning the header there. We did say uh, he's playing the crucial role. He's putting a lot of work. Just need the same commitment from the rest of the Harefield team, it seems. Uh, like I said, I think uh, the midfield at the moment seems to be the weakness attacking. The midfield's brilliant, but tracking back and defending seems to be the poorest part for Harefield at the moment. And it's a throw. Oh, to LNER. Harefield player does not look happy about that. Yeah. 
airfield bench there getting involved. Again, uh, attached from Harefield on the right-hand side by Ollie. There, right mid, very. He's putting in a lot of work. Um, he's very dangerous. They need to get the ball to him more often, I'd say. Combination of Rands, Mills, and Hatcher seem to be uh, the key there. If they can get something working between the three of them, I think they might be in with a, a goal. Yeah, they definitely will be. They need to just keep up the pressure. It seems like Ellen Niara have stepped off the gas just a little bit in the last five minutes. They need to put some more pressure on the Harefield. Possibly another injury there for their number three as well. Oh, it looks like he might be coming off. Should be okay. Just taking a step off. Has to come off, obviously. New rules put in place by the FA. So as we say, we are here at the final. It is Harefield United versus LNER Sports FC, Sunday the 22nd of May. It seems to be 50-50 with uh, who could win this. Yeah, it still is 50-50. It doesn't look like any team's actually dominating the game. Both teams on attack look very, very good. Brilliant tackle there by LNER. And a goal kick. Yeah, both teams are very... Very good attack. It looks like defensive-wise, uh, they need to. One team needs to dominate more than the other. Yeah, they both seem to have holes in the defence, and it's just about the other team managing to uh, to get through them. Yeah, that's true. Very, very true. Long kick there by Lanier. Free head. It's a throw there for Lanier. Jason Nash there, number 11, putting in hard work. Another great ball. Oh, unlucky. I can see what he's going for there. Obviously, aiming for his left mid. A bit unlucky. It's slow on the run back there. Pace is not his strength. Poor decision there. Oh, no call there. Had plenty of time to bring that down. Martin Withworth with the throw. Number four, they're struggling to get out of his feet there. Yeah, definitely struggling to get out of his feet, and that's a pretty awful free kick to give away. Another dangerous position. They keep putting in these balls here, Field, and really and truly LNER don't want to give many free kicks like this away. Tom Norton with a throw. Another throw in for LNER. Well, they've made it into Harefield's half. Yeah, that's always uh, good progress. Hopefully another attack. As we said from the start of the game, LNER seemed to be better on a counter-attack rather than build-up play. Maybe down to... Uh, Hair feels poor defence though. Uh, yeah, probably so. And obviously a build-up play, you're going to need something to stick up front. And at the moment, it doesn't look like LNER have that. Be interesting to see if there's any changes at half-time. Uh, there could definitely be a few changes made, I, I probably think. Maybe until later of the second half. 
Another corner here though for Harefield. Oh, nice little flick over the head. But, oh, I don't know about that. Nice tracking back again by Harefield. I would have said that's a pretty fair tackle. Big size difference between them though, isn't there? Yeah, big size difference, but I don't think, you know, it should make much of a difference. I mean, it's still definitely, a definitely didn't like foul play. Yeah, it wasn't foul play. It's just using his strength. If you're trying to counter on the quick. And they are looking a bit desperate there for a long shot. It seems like they haven't had a shot for a while and they're just trying to put on a bit more pressure. I don't think his teammates were too happy about the lack of passing there. Uh, he probably had a few more options. Uh, could have probably passed it off wide. But I see where he's coming from. Obviously, like I said, LNER haven't had a shot for a while, so he's trying to make an effort. A poor decision there by the referee, I would have said. Uh, definitely looked like a push in the back. Oh, no. It looks like he's turned it the other way. It is actually for LNER, pushing the back. Free kick from the number two. Airfield trying to plug the gaps. Uh, both teams, obviously, in the air seemed pretty weak, so can, could there be something from this? Oh, nice catch there by the keeper for Airfield. Terrible throw, though. Yeah, it was a terrible throw. Airfield has just given it away. And... Oh, probably should have done better with that opportunity. He had a bit of time there. I thought he was going to finish it. Yeah, he had plenty of time to put that in the back of the net. I definitely would have said so. Calm level head there from the captain. Yep, a nice ball as well. A bit of the Fed has got a bit of time there. And he's just giving it away again. No, it was nothing in it. It's a real shame. There seems to be some great opportunities and then just nothing comes of it. Yeah, like I said, they are not making anything stick up front at the moment. Everything seems to be a bit too rushed. They probably need to bring the ball down and play with it a bit more. Let their team get in because they seem uh, pretty deep at the moment. Their defence line is back. But it's another counter-attack here for LNER. Can he finish it? He's got him. Oh, absolute flop towards the end. That was their opportunity right there. Yeah, that was definitely the opportunity. They had enough time to again to finish that. They need to make sure that they finish some of these chances. But it's LNER again. Hefford are just giving away the ball at the moment. And there it goes. Another ball straight over the top. Such a shame. Number nine looks devastated. He had his perfect opportunity there and he just he just buckled under the pressure. Uh, to be quite honest, it looked like he actually hit the ground more than he did the ball. Um, it's a bit of a shame. It was a brilliant chance and he should have finished it, but Harefield should probably have finished about two opportunities now and maybe a save for LNER. Crowd on both sides is just awaiting that first goal. Nice big kick there by Harefield. Great header there by the centre mid. Kevin Mills has been a bit quiet recently. Uh, it seems like maybe, like I said, he's maybe getting a bit tired now. He's had to do a lot of work. He's still putting a lot of uh, tackles, though. Players complaining that it bounced on the line, but the linesman is not having any of it. Yeah, I think the ball definitely went in and then came back out. 
probably be an LNER throw. All of the LNER players very upset about the decision. Another great header though. A great tackle there. Oh, looked like a handball and it is a handball. Harefield definitely has the height on their side when it comes to these air balls. Yeah, they definitely do, but whether they utilise it, it doesn't seem like they will. But we know that they're dangerous in the air, especially from this position. And they've played it short. Nice early cross again. Great head. Airfield getting more of their players involved. There's a lot more passing back and forth before they try and finally finish. Here we go though, LNER. The counter attacks by LNER always look very dangerous. It always seems like Airfield's defence are a bit shaken still. Jason Nash, number 11 with the ball. He's crossed it in. Brilliant cross. Brilliant header. Oh, Nash again with the ball. Can he get another good cross in? Lovely footwork. Oh, unlucky. Another, again, it didn't look like he was going for goal, but it was definitely a good save there by the keeper. I think Nash is definitely going to be one to watch. If they do score, it will be either because of him or it will be him himself. Yeah, he seems to be putting on a lot of pressure. He seems to be the danger man at the moment. Uh, they need to maybe close him down. When they give him a bit too space, too much space, he's, he's twisting, he's turning, he's very good with his feet. LNER maybe need to utilise him a little bit more. Here he comes, LNER corner. Free head. Brilliant save again by the keeper. I said balls in air at the moment for both teams. They both seem to be struggling. Very good header though. Yeah, it was a brilliant header. Uh, but fairly good save for the keeper as well. A lot of pressure for Harefield having to take a third corner to defend against. Nash running in. Oh, the keeper needs to be aware of these. He's kept it on. He's kept it on. Oh, well defended there. Not out of danger just yet. But nice calm football, if I must say so. Shame about the last pass. A great header. Number nine doing very well to keep the ball there. And he, oh! Oh, nice turn. Unlucky again. As we said, on the counter attack, LNER are looking very dangerous still. And they've managed to win themselves another corner. This could be very dangerous for Harefield. Yeah, they've really got to make something work here. They need to, they need to change the scoreline. I mean, they need to put more pressure on Harefield. Maybe, you know, they can relax after they get the goal. As Harefield would probably try and start putting on a lot more pressure. It seems like LNER need this goal now. Hairfield's got a lot of quick players. If they can get a counter, this could be their opportunity. There's Mills running up the wing. Well defended. Legs all up in the air, though, for the LNR player. Oh, corner. Looked like a wasted throw to start off with, but good challenge there. Taking his time, waiting for the players to get in the right positions. Comes in another dangerous cross, no doubt about it. Keeper's got his hand to that one. Ooh. And there's Nash. Oh. Oh. Another ball gone. Another ball gone. Really close opportunity there from Nash, though. Yeah, really close. The last uh, 10 minutes for LNR has been looking pretty good. Looking pretty dangerous. They've had Harefield on the back foot. Looks like number two struggling there.
goalkeeper's probably taking this opportunity for a little bit of a breather. It's been a bit intense for him for the last five, ten minutes. Yeah, probably a free kick. Cheap one to give away. And Harefield just give it straight back. Another wasted play. Harefield are under a lot of pressure and need to make something stick now. Very disappointing from them. They had the pace, but just, oh. Elenia, up to the number nine. Uh, it looks like a throw-in from here. Can't quite see, but I believe it is a throw-in. Tempers are high in the Harefield camp. It's been pretty poor from Harefield. Pretty poor at the moment. They seem to keep getting the ball and just giving it straight back to LNER. It's like they've just lost their momentum. You know, they started off very, very strong, very, very powerful in the attack. And oh, unlucky there. Oh, oh, oh! Can it? Oh! Ah! It's like a pinball machine in there. Yeah, it was very unlucky there for LNER, but like you said, going back to the other point, um, Harefield started off really fast and they seem to have just dropped off a bit now. It seems like they're getting a bit too complacent. They're not making anything stick now up front. Getting absolutely hammered. Constant onslaught of attacks from LNER and that just summed it all up. About three shots on goal there. Something's definitely going to come soon. Okay, great battle in there. It looked like he was offside, but the lies. Yep, he is offside. That was correct. Desperation. Absolute desperation there. Yeah, another one of those balls there by Hairfield. They literally just get it and give it away. It's, um, they need to, like I said, they need to slow down the game a little bit, relax. Let's play some of the football they were playing half an hour ago. Yeah, it was a lot more relaxed back then. Um, I think they felt that they were more in control. Now that LNER started putting on the pressure, I think they feel it as well. So they're literally just giving away the ball. LNER's players looking a bit tired, though. This could be it. Oh. No, no! And a goal! I don't know what the goalkeeper was thinking there. He definitely should have cleared it. He tried to be smart. Completely unexpected. Did not see that one coming. Yeah, it was a good through ball though. Uh, from the number 12 there. It was brilliant, good. It was a good through ball. It was almost a little bit too far forward though. The player was really stretched to run for it. I thought it was out of his reach, but he just kept on going. He stayed committed and he got it through the keeper. Yeah, very poor mistake there by the LNER goalkeeper. And half time as well. Um. David Mallon, the goalkeeper for LNER, looks absolutely devastated. An absolutely ridiculous mistake to make. Yeah, poor time to give away a goal as well at half time. It's a shame, it's a shame. LNER have been working really hard. He's going to suffer for that in the changing room. Yeah, most definitely. It's been an interesting first half. It's been very, very interesting. It's been a lot of attacks from LNER within the second half of the first half. Harefield started very, very strong, and it looked like that their attacks were going to win them. But then they just kind of lacked a little bit. Yeah, they did lack a lot. Um, I think it was down to, like I said, the midfield, obviously, dropping off a bit too far and letting LNER just walk straight in on top of the defence. However, they did manage to get a last-minute goal. Poor, poor efforts yeah. there from the keeper and LNER. Poor, poor efforts. It was a, uh, a run-up that ended up just going through his legs. Yeah, pretty much a bad decision there from the goalkeeper, but... 
If the LNER can keep the momentum going into the second half, they could possibly bring this back. It's going to be an interesting second half. I still don't know what to call, to be honest. It could go either way, but it is a final, so I'm sure there'll be some more dramas ahead. There will be. Second half of the Harrow Sunday Challenge League Kane Cup Final. Harefield United versus LNER Sports FC here on the Sunday, the 22nd of May. Very interesting first half. Harefield managed to nab a very cheeky goal in the very last second. Yeah, it was a very cheeky goal and LNER were all over Harefield as well. It's a bit of a shame, but obviously hopefully LNER can keep up the momentum and go and get this goal. LNER in red, number four there. Be interested to hear what the changing room conversation was with their keeper. Uh, I doubt he would have got much stick. It was a bit of a poor mistake, but at the same time, LNER have had a lot of opportunities that they could have finished off. They could be about 3-1 three, three up. Seems like it has been a match of missed opportunities on both sides. Such a shame that the only goal that was conceded was such a random one. Yeah, and a very sloppy goal to give away as well. But LNE are putting on the pressure in this second half. Kevin Mills there. Yeah, for game, putting in a lot of hard work. I told you he's one of the, the midfielders to look out for. He's working a lot. He's with the ball and he's successfully passed it out to the wing there. Number 15, Oli Hatcher. He proved himself in the first half. This could be it. Oh, well defended there by LNER. And again, at the start of this half, Herfield have put on the pressure. They've gone straight back to the right mid, the way they should have in the first half. Corner there for Harefield. Oh, lucky there by LNER. Both teams seem to have a new lease of life. Oh, nice bit of skill there. Oh, oh. Terrible pass across. I think he should have been more aware of that. Captain for Harefield there, not having any of it. It made a pretty poor mistake. It looked again. It looks like Harefield's midfield are not pulling back. It just seems like the defence are just sitting there waiting for something to happen. And Kevin Mills is. again. A brilliant engine that Kevin Mills. And it's a Harefield throw. And LNE are putting on a lot of pressure at the moment. Corner here for LNE are. This could be their opportunity to get back in the game. Could be. They've had plenty of opportunities to change this. Could this be the chance? 
Brilliant cross. Brilliant ball and no one there to finish it off and it's another LNER corner. So great with the corners, just they just don't seem to finish them. Uh, it seems like they're always over here and there's just no one there on the back post just to finish it off. Just need that cheeky little header and it's all in. See if they have some better luck this time. Good effort there from the keeper. Yeah, but again, straight to the wards of back post. Another cross back in. LNER ball. Long throw in. Backwards header. Oh, unlucky. Nice backwards header. I would have said a pretty rushed kick there from Harefield. Had plenty of time to just hold up and wait for his team to get up front. Elian, our players there, a little bit annoyed. Yeah, it was a very sloppy foul to give away. And offside there, just standing offside. Throw on there for LNER. Nice long cross. Oh. 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 A lot of potential there, a lot. They just need a couple more people in the box. Yeah, it was a two-on-one situation there. He never really should have won the header. But at the same time, the goalkeeper should have been aware of that. Good header there. Good header, but two players there from LNR, both going for the same ball. Nash again, proving his worth. But, ah, oh, sloppy crossover there, straight over to Harefield. Got time. Played a nice ball wide there. Airfield's towering number four there, McLaren. But they're all standing offside again. This is something that Airfield need to be aware of. Every attack so far, they've been standing offside, and it wasn't just one player then, it was about three. And they've got the 1 0 advantage as well. The hunger shouldn't be driving in that far forward. Yeah, that's very true. They have a lot of time that they can just play around with the ball now as well. Especially in midfield, it seems like uh, LNER have dropped a bit deeper in this second half. We had a few players that had minor injuries for LNER. Wondering if they'll make any substitutions in this second half. Four from Harefield there. Yeah, number 16, James Taylor. Had plenty of time to actually take a touch then. Nice head there, Barley. Good interception there from LNER. Oh, airfield player didn't seem to know where the ball was. Nice touch there. And they are in. Oh, he just couldn't get the ball under control there. Here's the counter. Again, Harefield struggling to make something stick up front. LNR 
in the air with the throw in. Can they make something happen from this? Nice long throw there. And a push in the back. Clear push in the so back. So blatant. Terrible thing to do. He could have just easily let that. It looked like it was going to hit his head if he would have concentrated more on it. A he wasted opportunity. Yeah, they need to be aware of this short here. Mills overpowered there by the number 12. And the are with another throw in. Harefield captain trying to create some noise among his team. It's a hair field throwing. Thrown in a pretty dangerous position this time. Sean Rands there, number 12. Really showed himself in the first half, so looking to see some more from him in the second. Yeah, we know, have, we know Joe Sadler's got a very, very long throw, so this could be dangerous. It's almost like a corner. taking the throw again he's been solid all season in defence and he's done well this final as well and a goal kick to Ellen ER. Pressure in this second half hasn't been the same as it was in the first half. They looked at the both teams are a lot more productive. Good strength there by the number 12 for LNR, and that was a little kick out there, yes. And they get the free kick for it. with a free kick we know both teams are pretty dangerous in the air but can they make something of this one and yeah, number two has proved himself another great ball straight onto the goalkeeper oh the goalkeeper has not really been tested yet I would say oh terrible kick there by the keeper shocking and a shocking kick from miss kick from the defender Really need to get their head in the game. Number 16, James Taylor. I believe it was a substitution. Linesman called it. We have a substitution here for Harefield. Kevin Mills coming off. Surprised by that, to be fair. Uh, I am surprised, but at the same time, I did say it looked a bit tired in the first half, so maybe it's just a fresh legs. His work rate was phenomenal. Yeah, very phenomenal. But uh, I think the kick out towards the end was actually a sign of him getting pretty tired. 
Concerned if they can replace him though. As you said, he was like an engine to the team, so. Yeah, definitely. He's probably one of the most hardest working midfielders for them. Ash Chotalia replacing him. Yeah, they need to hope that he does the same type of job because Kevin Mills did a lot of tracking back. Could be the difference now. Jamie Barry, the keeper there. Straight to the new sub. Counter-attack here for Harefield. Oh. oh, number 12 with the ball. Oh. Sean Rands. We did say that he was going to be dangerous. And it's a quick turnaround for LNER. Oh, nice touch. Wasn't intentional, but very nice touch. Great accidental manoeuvre there. Oh, oh poor hit there. That's going to be costly. And then the other fit's getting very complacent there. Are shouting for a handball there, but the ref has ignored it. Hairfield on the attack. Nice ball across, but no one there to finish it. Too much time here. Nice tackle. Brilliant tackle there. He's managed to keep it on. Good pace there. James Taylor there, number 16. Yeah, I think he um, he's panicking. I think Eleni need to use this advantage. He's playing centre-back and he's pretty small. This would be a good time to play a lot more balls in the air. Ball came in. And they went back out there, so it's uh, Ed and the R throwing. Anger from the Harefield thrower there. Elinear on the attack. Oh, nice feet. He's got some strength there, that number 12. Ollie just trying to get the ball out of his feet there. Elinia on the attack again. Some great footwork there. And a nice cross, but again, no one really there to finish it off. Oh. Nasty tackle there. It's a terrible tackle and definitely worth a card. <laughs> Sean Rands there stopped in the counter attack. Could have been pretty dangerous. It probably was the right decision to make. He turned him and he left him. And it hasn't even cost him a card. Oh no, it was a yellow card. Miss that? <laughs> <laughs> Stakes made there. Joe Sadler here, the number two. It's 
That's a lovely pull in. But ah, oh. Almost had it there with the header. And that's Sean again. This looked very, very dangerous in the first and the second half. That goal in the first half has seemed to really driven Harefield forward. Yeah, most definitely. It seems like the momentum from LNER definitely went. As soon as that whistle blew, it seems like they've lost a lot of momentum. But Harefield on the attack again with a corner. It's a good corner. The keeper's got a hand on it. And it's cleared nicely there by the defence. Very nice clearance. This gives LNER a lot of time to push up the field and get back into their shape. Feel like they need a new lease of life, perhaps a fresh pair of legs on their team. Yeah, I would most definitely say so. The midfield is dropping too deep now. Their attack is just it's very slow. slow, but that's a nice turn. There you go. And a nice shot. Oh, unlucky. Might have spoke too soon there. There we are, saying Elinia's attack wasn't there. Yeah. Seemed again like it was only made by two players though. It doesn't seem like the midfield's really joining in at the moment. No, it's their number nine, Hennessy and uh, Jason Nash, who we've pointed out earlier, seem to be doing only the work. Yet to see anything from the substitution there, Ash Chotalia for uh, Harefield. Yeah, he's not having the same impact that uh, Kevin Mills had. And like I said, that could be the difference. Powerful number 12, steaming through there. He's got the ball again, Ooh. but couldn't finish it. He's hit the post, but not the goal post. Almost hit a tree. Disappointing finish. Yeah, the shooting from outside the box today by LNR has been pretty terrible. They really haven't worked the goalkeeper the way they should. They're just not keeping it down. Great win there for LNER. Could be another and on, chance. And on the seconds, can he beat his player? Nice little cross. Number eight powering through there. <laughs> Tensions are high there from the airfield players. Frustration, the ball wasn't played quick enough. Yeah, he probably should have played that forward a bit quick enough. He didn't really need to run with that. He could have just played it down the line and probably maybe collected it again after in, in the mid. Made his job a lot harder there. Joe Sadler again, the number two. Joe with another brilliant ball in. The towering number four has managed to... Oh. Excellent there from the number 16. Harefield are on the counter again. He's kept it. Stuart Taylor there, number eight. Yeah, lovely feet. Oh. Another shot there by Oli. Uh, looks like Oli switched sides. He was right mid to start off with in the first half. He's now gone left. James Taylor there on the defence. Great interception. Taylor said to be the first and last one at training and at games. Really showing that dedication on the pitch as well. Yeah, most definitely. Putting in a lot of hard work. A great header there. Helen they are again really too complacent. They're getting a bit too comfortable back there. And an interception. 
And this Ash on the ball. Brilliant ball. And number 11 needs a little bit more pace. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but good covering there by the goalkeeper. Sam Barsidian there, he just, just missed out on that opportunity. Ooh, good feet. I would have said that was a free kick. Most definitely looked like one. Harefield's playing on. This is their opportunity. Good ball there by Stuart Taylor. Barsidian again there. And it's a Harefield ball again. Eleni are looking very, very tired and drained. Foul throw there by Harefield. Terrible. Should know better than that. Another LNER ball. And a free kick from a good position. They really need to make a change and soon. They need to finish this opportunity. Brilliant ball in. Straight, straight to the, to the keeper's, keeper's keeper. hands. Airfield on the counter here, number four. Brilliant ball through by Ash there. He seems to be playing a good, good few balls there. He's he's doing well. Yeah, he's doing. He's not doing a bad job. He's not doing the same job that. Uh, no, it's a much more central position yeah. where he seems to be just pinging it out to the players wherever they are. Yeah, Mills seems to be doing a lot more up and down running and winning a lot more of the ball, whereas uh, Ash seems to be just picking off, <laughs> picking off good passes at the moment. Looks like we've got an injury there. Is it? Yeah, I think it's Stuart Taylor. I think he's just down at the moment. I think maybe the ball might have hit him in the face. And it looks like Ellen and are making a substitution as well. Stuart Taylor there. He's got back up on his feet. He is brothers with James Taylor, who we've talked about, number 16. Much needed substitution there from LNER. Hopefully that will revitalise the team, give them a little bit more energy. Oh. Uh, I don't know about that one. It was a pretty poor foul to give away. He was never actually going to make anything from that. Seemed almost pointless. Yeah, it was a pretty pointless free kick to give away. Probably would have... Pepfield would have won the throw from that. The ref just having a quick word with the Harefield captain. So he does it, go through it and he tells you why why you were doing so. Most of that goal. number two. He's been consistent throughout the game, putting some good uh, good balls. See if he can get this in the box. It's quite deep. He's done it. Good head there by Ash. But a free head there. And in the yard, need to put some pressure on him. Throwing for in the yard. Plenty of time there for Harefield. It's cleared out the line. And in has knocked it straight back. Uh, I think he had a bit of time there. He could have probably taken a touch and maybe actually hit it down the line instead of hitting it out. Seemed a bit pressured, didn't he? Yeah, a bit too pressured. It seems like Harefield are putting on a lot of pressure at the moment. Making L and ER feel very uncomfortable. And that's Sean on the ball now. Sean's 
Sean Rands always making the runs. Could be nice. Harefield's opportunity. Yeah, that was nice football there by Harefield. Just taking their time. They've got a lot of time. Chotali nearly had it there. It's a giveaway ball though. Oh, the captain. Taylor to Taylor. Two brothers working together there. Oh, oh. nice little dink, but it didn't quite pay off. McLaren there with the ball. Straight to an LNER player. Harefield back with it. Chotalia. Well, it's Ollie again. It's going to be a run. Hatcher on the ball. He's gone for a shot. Oh. Disappointing. I thought he had it. Yeah, pretty disappointing. But good football there from Harefield. It actually looked quite promising. David Mallon, keeper there for LNER. LNER just making another substitution. <laughs> yeah, Blayton pushing the back there by Ash. I need to get a goal sooner rather than later. That Harefield push has put a lot of pressure on them now. Yeah, it doesn't look like any are actually looking like they're going to score in this half. It's a good ball in. Oh, but he's over here. Oh. Substitution there for Harefield. Stuart Taylor off. He's played a good game. Yeah, he's played a very good game out on the right, right mid. Wonder if this will be a straight swap. Doesn't look like it. It looks like Sean Rands is actually pulling out to the right at the moment. And Harefield have actually switched it up, I believe. I think they're playing four at the back, five in midfield and one up front. So going for a more defensive and flooding feel for the midfield. Trying to hold on to their 1-0 win so far. Sean Rands. Just trying to get round him. Tensions are high between the two teams. This is a final after all. Yeah. The LNR are definitely looking for this goal. It would be a real shame for it to end 1 0 with a goal like that. There's been so many opportunities. Yeah, there's been w way too many opportunities, but LNR are just not challenging anything at the moment. Sloppy there from the defence and slow to run back as well. It might be costly. Oh, and that pass back. Oh, the keeper's been taken down. That's a terrible tackle. I don't really think there was much in it, though. It was a, a bad attempt. It was but sloppy, but it wasn't... Yeah, I don't think it was as bad as it looked. It wasn't malicious, but unnecessary. Yeah, definitely worth a card, if I must say so. Considering they're only playing one up front, it's not the kind of stuff you want to see from that individual. <laughs> Pretty 
Pretty sloppy kick there from LNER, but they're going to make something of it. Oh, and they've just given it away again. I did say that LNER need to make something stick. Seems to me like they're just kicking it away still. Terrible, terrible touch there by Harefield. Oh, but he's recovered. McLaren with the ball. Back to Taylor. Nice play there by Harefield. They've really found this. And themselves. that's a brilliant ball through. It's a shame he couldn't get a touch there. Could he get it to Rands? If he can. Yeah. All the fight, but just nothing from it. Yeah, I think uh, number 11's a bit unlucky there. Uh, probably would have got that touch. But on the control, he might have been able to finish that opportunity. It was a good play again by Harefield, though. Like I said, Harefield are looking very, very dangerous this half, whereas L and R don't seem like they're actually going to get a goal. They've really found themselves. They've got their momentum. They know what they're doing. L and R, on the other hand, they just seem to be struggling. Yeah. Offside there. Number two, pushing his luck there, trying to take the free kick from the halfway line. Well, he's got a big enough kick. It shouldn't be a problem anyway. They just need to make something of it. Captain there with a sloppy kick. Another wasted chance by LNI. Like I said, it just can't make anything stick. Everyone just seems to want to get rid of the ball like it's a hot potato. I don't feel like any LNER player really wants the ball at the moment. Hairfield's still looking hungry though. Big lad that number 12. Yeah, he's been quite dominant in midfield for LNER as well. Probably one of the more hard-working players. Harefield with the free kick. Sadler again. James Taylor pulling back, letting Joe Sadler come forward just for the throw. Joe Talia looking for it. Straight to LNER. Airfield players having a go at their own. Uh, I don't think that was really quite worth a free kick. I don't think Chotala really put any effort into pushing him there. It looked like he actually backed off. But free kick to LNER. Another long ball. It's a lack of red in the box. <laughs> Accidental handball has led to... Harefield actually getting a free kick from it. Eleonar's number six is trying to just shout at people, get back and forget the argument. Harefield could finish it here. Shoot! He's taking his time. Oh. Chotalia maybe should have shot then. Uh, I think he looked like he was in two minds there. It looked like he wanted to shoot, but at the same time, he felt like he was probably in the wrong position to do so. But Harefield need another goal to seal the deal. It looks likely. Yeah, I think that's all it will take. It doesn't, like I said, it doesn't look like LNR are going to score, so... 
Now they're getting very casual. The lone striker there taking the ball. He's got a lot of blue shirts. And it's four on three. Nice cross. Ooh. Hit the woodwork. Yeah, I don't think he was aiming for it. So it's pretty unlucky there. Probably would have been better if he would have made the cross. LNER really feeling the pressure. It's the last five minutes of the game. This could be a time for LNER to maybe make some last minute substitutions and really trying to. There he is, Stefan Bays in there with the red hair. He's really gone all out with the outfit for this one. Right mid, we know he's got a lot of pace. Can he come out to him? First touch on the ball there by Baisden. Could have made a difference. The new number 16 looks like he's really itching to go. Will he get the opportunity though? Only five minutes left. Any time to waste. We have roughly around five minutes, but we don't know what the stoppage time is at the moment. But LNER definitely need to get this goal. Jamie Barry with the goal kick. Can Basin keep it on? Oh, nice head there. He's kept it in. It's Payson! Oh. Snatched from the defence. Thought oh. we had something there. It's unlucky, yeah. Payson put in work on the challenge was two and one. He still managed to win the header. Just nick it away from the defender. Must be the red hair. Jason Nash with a throw. It's got to be a long throw. They've got to make something from this. Oh. Foul throw though. Another foul throw. Pressures, pressures, pressures. That is not what you want to see from LNER. You, they really need to make something of this and they're literally just giving the ball back to Harefield. It's a silly mistake to make. Airfields McLaren. Nice effort there from LNER. Solly again. He's dangerous. He's truly dangerous. But could they get it on the counter? David Mallon kicking it out there. Not enough people up front. Not enough opportunities for them. But they've still got possession. Captain there with the ball. But they're just giving it away. To nobody. Sloppy there from the captain. Yeah, very, very sloppy. Had the ball, they get it wide. Need to go wide once more. And he just can't make it. Throw on. Still, LNER not looking like they're going to get this goal back. Number six there. And straight back to Harefield again. And they're just going to take their time with this one. Yeah. 
Harefield in no rush. Yeah, they seem very calm at the moment. And it's Sean. He's got plenty of time to turn here and make something of it. Can he beat the defender? Too much time. Can't and Bayston the there. Though. Good ball there by Bayston. Brilliant ball. Oh. He's cut back. If he maybe would have taken that on his left foot. Oh, unlucky by LNER. But Bayston making a difference as soon as he's come on. Played a brilliant ball there. That was a lost opportunity there. I really thought they had it then. Great substitution though, it seems. Possibly should have been made earlier though. Yeah, I believe uh, definitely should have been made earlier. We know that he's an attacking player and really and truly need to get this goal, so. Keeper is definitely wasting time. But we have an injury on the pitch. And LNER making another substitution. I believe this is their final sub, so. It's urgent, they need to. They need that energy. Gotta squeeze a goal out. Being carried off, number four. Oh, he's up on his feet. Possibly not as drastic. Yeah, probably just cramp. They really need to bring on another attacking player and to just finish this. It looks like they've actually brought on another defender. Maybe just to replace the injured one, but maybe they need to make a substitute. Well, some type of change here. Maybe go through at the back, which it looks like they have done. Yep. <laughs> Harefield just booting it up the pitch. They know they've got time and they've got the advantage of 1 0. Bayston. And that's it again. Bayston again with the ball down the line. Bringing it back. Sloppy there from the number 10. And Bayston again, not letting him out. He's hungry for this goal, but is the rest of the team? That's the only problem. They definitely should have made this substitution sooner rather than later. No players running for the ball there. And he definitely could have made that. Very lazy there by LNER. Goalkeeper coming out forward there, just trying to get it up the pitch. Sean Rand's just trying to win these balls. LNER give it straight back to Harefield again. Seems like the only time that LNER are actually making anything stick at the moment is by playing it to Baisden. Clock is ticking. Harefield. Could be a devastating mistake from the cap. Uh. <laughs> and that is it. Final whistle blows just as Bazin was making a run. Yeah, it's a shame for LNER, but it didn't look like they're actually going to get the goal in the second half. There we have it. We have a winner. Harefield has won the final of the Harrow Sunday League Cup. Yep, it was probably well deserved, to be quite honest. It was well deserved, but the winning goal was was not. It didn't do them justice. Yeah, it really didn't. But LNER in the second half definitely didn't look like they were going to score. They looked more dangerous in the first half, but Harefield pulled away, I guess. They did. They did. They made a last minute few substitutions, too late in my opinion. It seemed that LNR was really lacking the, uh, the pace that they needed and it was a last minute decision where they actually realised. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, Baines have put in a lot of work in the last three minutes of the game. They should have made that change a lot sooner, but that's just the way it turns out. But Harefield, well deserved victory there. As I say, they had many attempts on goal. It's just, uh, it's a bit funny that the only one that went in was a, a, a mishap. Yeah, that's very true. But I am Jake Nelson. And I was Callum Dilietto. And that was the final for you. Take care.